Okay. Hello, Bonnie. Hey, John. How are you doing today? Very good. Excellent. Well, first of all, thank you for this movie. I am a mother of two boys, 10 and 13. Oh, yeah. And all I have to say is I am dragging my 13-year-old to this. Oh, good. Uh, my 10-year-old saw it with me and absolutely loved it, and the other one was busy. But I have to say, I mean, wh being a mom, I so appreciate having movies like this. Was that a main reason for you also being a dad to make... You know, I tell you, it's a, big, it's a big reason. I don't know if you've had this experience, but my kid gets, and I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old, but my four-year-old is more interested in the movies I'm watching than the ones that are made for him. And I always feel bad because, you know, if they're PG-13, it's just not appropriate for him. Mm -hmm. But he could follow the story. Right. And he likes the, you know, I think kids deserve just as good uh, film technique as, as adults. And I think if you make a movie that's good, uh, everybody could enjoy it. And you just, if, you, if it's PG, if it's family, just leave out the heavy-duty violence and sex and language. And all of a sudden, you have a movie that works for everybody. And that, yeah. that used to be the case when I was growing up. I don't know what changed or when it did. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you for this, because really, it's such a fantastic film. And, you know, really ambitious project, John. I mean, the, 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 the special effects are like, whoa. I mean, you must have been going mental going making this film. Well, I got, I mean, that's what's exciting. You, when you direct a movie, you're, you're locked up with that thing for a year and a half. And you have to be uh, doing something that piques your curiosity. And on Elf, I had a little taste of it with the force perspective and with the stop motion in the beginning of the movie, if you remember. Yeah. And in this one, I really wanted to take on the challenge of making a movie without using more computer graphics than I needed to. And that meant building model uh, spaceships, having uh, Zorgons and creatures and, and robots built, and doing everything the way that they used to. I, I feel that it's so much more emotionally engaging if you're looking at real things and not this uh, CGI video game that most movies are now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's so much fun. Uh, Jonah and Josh, where on earth would you, did you find these boys? They were fantastic. Yeah, they were remarkable. Well, Josh, the older one who plays Walter, is a bit of a journeyman now. He had, he had done all the motion capture work with Tom Hanks on Polar Express, and he was in a movie called Little Manhattan and uh, Kicking and Screaming. So he's been around for quite some time mm -hmm. for a kid of his age. Uh, Jonah, though, you know, for a young kid, I wanted the seven-year-old to be played by a seven-year-old, not by a, 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 you know, a twelve-year-old with gland problems, like most, <laughs> like most movies. So, uh, in finding a real kid, you you can't use uh, somebody who's experienced because at that age, th these kids are not, you know, these kids just don't have that wealth of experience. And so we found sort of a diamond in the rough with him. Yeah. And the two of them had wonderful chemistry. And uh, and they act like kids, which is what I like. Yeah. They're not like little grown-ups that are, you know, tucked into children's bodies and giving these performances that seem so out of place. Yeah. You know, with the advent of, of video games and everything right now, I, I mean, all I did when I was a kid I, growing up, all I did was play board games. Were you a board game player? I did. I enjoyed Monopoly. I enjoyed, uh, there was a game called Mousetrap. Do you remember yeah, that course. game? I mean, it just shows you how much a kid's imagination could sort of make up for. You know, it's this plastic game that you build over the whole course of the game, and then finally you get to watch this contraption. You know, a little ball goes down and a cage drops on the mouse. People are so fascinated with things like that, and I, I thought Zathura, the game we built for the movie, yes. was the ultimate game that you could find in your father's closet, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. God, I would love to. Well, actually, it was funny because I got the board game that they sent to me from Sony. And mm -hmm. my kids, you know, when we, we came home, my 10-year-old went and played the board game. Uh -huh. And it, it was great. Isn't that you know? cool? It was nice to see him play it. It's great to see the imagination. You know, we did a video game, too, which is kind of fun. Uh, uh, so there's a video game out, and then there's also a Pressman that makes a board game that actually looks and works a lot like the game in the movie. So Very cool. Um, obviously, we've seen you direct so much, but, you know, what do you find, when, what do you like to do? Are you, is directing bug something that you want to just keep continuing doing? When we see you in front of the camera, we love seeing you in front. Well, I just, I, look, I love acting. It's, it's, it's my first love, and it's, it's certainly, you get the most bang for your buck uh, for the amount of time you spend on the movie. I just did a movie called The Breakup with mm -hmm. Jennifer Aniston and Vince Vaughn that Vince actually produced. Uh, but, you know, it takes uh, somebody to really want me in a movie to be able to accommodate my schedule because I'm so busy working on these movies. And when you're the director, you have to be there for every single step of the process. You can't, you can't call in sick. Yeah, what is it with you and Vince? Why does it work so well together? I think we're very opposite. Uh, I think we're both, we're both have, have a, a very similar sense of humor. We make each other laugh a lot. And... Uh, we both sort of go round for round with each other. We could, we just have rhythms that work on top of one another, and we're, you know, our souls are somehow connected. I, I don't see him that much actually, because I have two kids. I get up, 
I'm on the day shift, he's on the night shift. You know, we're different people. Yeah. And we live across town from each other, but we still have a, a very solid, deep connection that was formed, you know, a decade ago, and we we came up together. And so I really enjoy working with him. I enjoy watching his work, and we have very similar tastes. Well, I look forward to the breakup. And again, thank you for this. Uh, it is so fantastic. I can't wait to see it again. And, uh, you know, bring, bring us a sequel. Bring that, us another one. Thanks for the, that kind okay. of words. Take care, John. Thank have you. a great day.